Hello everyone, welcome to default Drupal channel and today we are going to see about entities in Drupal 8 and 9. And uh, entities, what is entities? Entity, entity is an object and we can say it plays a major role in Drupal. So most of the features which is available in Drupal all are called as entities. So and mainly we have a two levels of entities. We can say that as content entity and the configuration entity. So what is a content entity? So um, content entities are referred as a node, taxonomy terms, users, block contents, menu links. And when it comes to configuration entity, image styles, vocabulary, node type, and block type, all those are called as a configuration entity. So uh, we are saying it's a content entity and configuration, right? configuration entity, right? So how can we find uh, whether it's a content entity or configuration entity uh, without digging to the code, okay? So first we can say it by uh, how the entity is referred. So which means that contents or content entities are referred as uh, represented with numbers. So configuration entities are rep represented with the machine name. So which means that, uh, which means when you go, go to your website, so uh, we are saying uh, node as a content entity, right? So when when you see your website and I'm going to create a one content here. So let me create content under the article. So, Okay, so once you created a node, you can notice that this node is represented with the ID called one. Okay, so now one is the integer. So all the content entities or in Drupal are represented as a numbers. Okay, so whatever the entities available in our Drupal, uh, with the numbers, those are called as a content entities. So next one is a configuration entities. So what is a configuration entities? So we are saying that configuration entities are represented as a machine name, right? So let me go to uh, image styling, okay? So when you go to image styling, here you can see the uh, list of image styles which is available already. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to create one image style here. So, which is, uh, image style, okay. So let me save it. So once you save, you have to give the effect for it. So I'm giving scale and crop and we saved it, right? So when you, create a configuration entity. So here you can notice that the name is represented as a machine name. So uh, we can uh, represent the configuration entity with the machine name. So what is the major use of configuration entity and content entity is that we can move your co content in, we cannot move your content entity from one environment to another environment. But when it comes to the configuration entity, you can move your configurations from one environment to another environment, which means that wh whatever the developer developing in your development environment, you can move from development to stage or UAT or prod site by using the configuration entity. So what, Whatever the entities, content entities available in your development, those will not get moved from one environment to another. So let me show you how the uh, configuration created for this image type. So for that, you need to move to the configuration development, configuration synchronization and the export page. So here you have option called single item. So when you click on the single item here, you have to select the configuration type. So I'm going to select here as an image type. So once you click on the image type, so here you need to click the image style which you created recently, okay? So this is the image style which we created. So we can move this configurations 
from one environment to another and we can make it available in the stage or project. Okay. So this is the YML name for the particular configurations. Okay. This is the main difference between the content entity and the configuration entity in Drupal. So So uh, how entities are defined? So you can see how the entities are defined in code uh, by using these links. And uh, programmatically, so <clears throat> we are saying it's a content entity and the configuration entity, right? So uh, those entities are uh, represented by using the annotation. So when you create your own content entity or custom in configuration entity in your custom module, you have to create an annotation file by using these class names. So um, you have to create an entity file under the SRC entity folder. So this will be the class name for that configuration entity and this will be the class name for the content entity, okay? So this is how you can check, uh, this is a node type one, which means content type uh, configurations, which is available in code. This is the link for it. And this is for node content entity type which is available in the code, okay? So these are the mainly available hooks for the entity. So uh, what is hooks? Uh, hooks is uh, nothing but it's an easier way to alter or extend the existing features. So uh, which means that uh, when you when Drupal provides you such a, a features, so it's also giving a, a extra features called hooks. So by using hooks, you can uh, do some alteration based on your client requirement. You can do the uh, extension based on your requirement. So which means, so uh, let me uh, explain some of the hooks from here. And we have a um, lot of hooks other than this. And I will add that uh, uh, link in the description. You can have a look on it. And uh, let me explain all these things. So first one is a hook entity load, which means that whenever the entity getting loaded, this hook will get called. So you can alter the entity object by using it, okay? So a hook entity view means whenever you view the entity, which means uh, if you consider the node uh, entity is a node means when you take a look at node slash one page or, or whatever the node ID page, on that time, this hook will get called. So hook entity insert means it will call when the new node is created. So when you edit and update the node, that time this will not get called. This will get called only on the insertions. So the hook entity update will get called on edit action of the entity. So as like the uh, delete, preserve, access, and create access represents the hook entity create access, which means that the creation of a node page, whether the user has access or not. You can alter the access by using these hooks. So next one is hook entity type alter. And the, as like the hook entities, we have a revision uh, hooks in the right side. So uh, that's it about the entity hooks. You can see deep about it in the next, uh, in the link which is in the descriptions and this is my contact info and I am Saranya and I am Drupal trainer and tech lead and I am from Prior Labs so you can check other information here and please share, like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Bye.